the Hexagenia Nymph. Good little fly. Um, a lot of steps. Probably takes the longest of all the ones I do commercially, but it's one of my favorites. This is a number eight. Uh, Mustad 9672, I believe, or any 3x long or so streamer nymph type of hook. Uh, bead chain eyes, just cut it off a four millimeter bead chain. Secure with a few good figure eights, Danville 210. Thread, so I can pull hard. Thread to the back. Now, this one uses mostly pheasant. Um, but you could use most birds pretty much. Tail comes off the, uh, this is a whole pheasant skin here, try to get it in the camera. These longer fiber pieces in the back are what I use for the tail. I just kind of pinch off, uh, I don't know, ten or a dozen or so fibers. Snip them. I'm on like that. I don't worry about cleaning that stuff up too much now because we'll be wrapping on on top of it anyways. Uh, Swiss straw wing case. Doo -doo -doo. Kind of a copperish brown color. That. Um, so that'll be our wing case. And then I use a copper wire for rib. This is 26 gauge, maybe 28 gauge. This is kind of a brownish copper color, just craft store stuff. Wrap that down, get on there. And then we go for our phyllo plumes for the gills. These little critters breathe with gills that go down their whole abdomen. So what you do is you peel these back and grip one of these nice long inner inner feathers. That guy there. Pretty much all birds have these. You can use ones from a chucker or a grouse or quail. Pheasants, what I happen to have a lot of right now. And then for the body material, I just use Craft Store, big old skein of $2 yarn. Cut a piece of that off. So I tie that in with the the tip of it about where I'm going to stop the body so it's a consistent underbody. And then, I just, oh, sometimes with this wire it's kind of coiled up like that so that I can spin my rotary without it messing everything up. Just wrap that and tie it off. And we're actually going to use it, this white stuff more, but it's easier just to cut it off than to screw with it getting in your way for these next couple steps. So then, notice this is a nice long phyllo plume, so I can double it back. So fold it forward. Just one wrap to drop it on there. Lay it on top, and then this is why it's nice to use the wire, because you can just eat, bring the wire across, and th that little piece just pulls right off. And that's enough to hold it, to fold your wing case forward, just kind of carefully in the middle couple wraps. Now, you don't have to worry too much about it being secure yet because this wire is what's going to hold it on. So I just wrap the wire, kind of wiggle it in between those fibers, kind of separates them, and more than anything holds the fly together, I think. Usually just go for three evenly spaced wraps like that. One wrap, come in with your snippers for the wire. Doot! Pull the wing case back, and I wrap on top of it, um, back on top of the body a little bit to give me a little shelf to tie in. And now I'll just come back in with this white stuff, and this is easier than fighting it when you do those other wraps. So there is one little section that's got an underbody, and then the section that's bare hook, so that'll let us have a nice little taper when we wrap this. So one will be thick, one will be thinner. Secure that off right behind the eye. And I go back to my pheasant, third time here. And for the legs, I like to go for one of these kind of guys. All these feathers you can pretty much make legs out of, but these ones are cool because they have a kind of a two-tone to them. And instead of wrapping them, what I do is peel this back and actually just snip this piece off. 
this that little tip right there that I'm snipping off I like to use for other flies like a, for like a tail on a dace or something so I actually will go through and when I tie the dace I use the tip and just saved all the these pieces so that I can use them for legs which is that guy so I just take lay that kind of on top and then wrap it around well not really wrap it but press it so there's legs on both sides I'm gonna make it stick out a little further than that Trim it, fold the wing case forward, one wrap there, a couple wraps in front of the eyes, fold it back, and then a couple really good tight ones right there to hold it all together. Snip. And finish. There you go. I'll do another one here. So again, lots of steps, but turns out kind of cool. Until you break it off on the first cast. And obviously in different colors, different sizes. This is just kind of my, my standard one here, the number eight with the natural pheasant brown wing case. Sometimes I do them with white bead chain eyes. For whatever reason, that seems to be fairly productive. actually works decent through the ice too for perch it basically well it is just a mayfly nymph like you'd buy like a wiggler at the bait shop these guys like to burrow down in the mud but they're a pretty tasty morsel I reckon Since these are a little bit shorter, I'll just take two, make them a little bit thicker legs. The old hex nymph. 